everyone. My name is Tori Shundell Cox, and I am the Virginia G. Schrader Curator of Art at the Evansville Museum of Arts, History, and Science. And if you've been following our Cultural Insights mini-series, I want to specifically look at episode 18. In that episode, we heard from Dr. Donna Canada-Smith. She is a 12th grade dean and teacher of English and French at the Bentley School in Lafayette, California. As we learned in her interview, her students in the English junior and senior seminar are learning and conceptualizing what is the value of art and how does it intersect into literature. In this video, we will see part two of what her students concluded. I hope you enjoy these student submissions and I hope they inspire you to reflect on what art means to you. Hi, my name is Donna Canada-Smith and I am an English and French teacher at the Bentley School. I'm here with you today to share some clips from my students who are taking a seminar entitled Art and Literature. In these clips, you will hear students discuss how they understand art to be value. What is the value of art? Who gets to decide? I hope you enjoy these clips and that you find some pleasure in thinking about art and thinking about all of the art you will get to see in the museums when we're back up in business. Thank you. Hello. Um, before jumping straight into the analysis of art and how people interpret art, I think that it's important to consider the ways in which different people analyze their surroundings and visual culture differently based on their unique perspective. Um, because each person has a unique perspective, which is constructed by their identity. And to tie that to art, I think that each person interprets art differently, which makes it difficult to to put it into one distinct category or give it one distinct definition. I think that's a very abstract concept um, as a whole. However, that being said, I think I would give art the general definition of um, being a form of expression and liberation, as well as a reflection of history and culture. Hi, my name's Mayor, and I think that the value of art is unique in that it changes for everyone and it's different for everyone. There's no agreed upon value of art in society, whether that be the commodified value or the emotional value of it. Um, it's obviously a mode of expression for the artist, and it's also unique in that it brings out emotion, whether that be positive or negative. Um, it can bring out emotion and new points uh, to light within the audience that it reaches. So um, in that way, the value of art is unique. The way I see it, there's three main ways of finding value in art. One being value as an, the audience of the art, in any art in any form, like visually, audio, like music. And I think that as an audience member of art, it's really important is seeing, like learning more about yourself from a piece of art or its history, which kind of goes to the next thing I'm gonna talk about, but like, seeing, being able to look at a piece of art and see more than just what's there and use your prior experiences in life to kind of like interpret that art in a way that's unique to you and meaningful, which is why some art is meaningful to some people and some is not and some people value art that other people find worthless. And so another Another, and another value of art I see is from the perspective of the art, artist, they get kind of, they get to kind of this expression of their own feelings in this art and the satisfaction of knowing that they're putting this piece out there that others can interpret and use to better themselves, which is great. And then this, a third idea, which is, kind of the historical value of art, which seems to go a lot into like the monetary value when you look at like fancy paintings by like very famous artists. And I personally don't see the value, I guess each art, each piece of art kind of tells, can tell a story. If you know its history or know some or suspect something about its history, you can look at it and find either sentimental 
meaning to something in your life or something that you can only imagine. And that can come from both visually what the, what it looks like, or just your knowledge of the history of that piece. And so I think all three of these kind of values are what make art so incredible in, in every sense. And I think everyone in some sense creates art or admires art, no matter what it is and sees the history in art, even if it's not art in the way we think of it, paintings and music, I think are like the top, like the, the first two that come to mind. I think that art's extremely important for self-expression and it's also a valuable outlet for emotions and ideas. I think that art is also important because it allows people to view different perspectives, but it also connects people and it can connect people through a shared appreciation for a piece of art or a shared experience that a piece of art may represent. I think that for others, art may be valuable for them based on the cost or the popularity of the artist. And I think that some believe that if they can purchase a piece of art that is deemed popular or valuable by the higher class, then that can earn them respect in society. I think that art's an important discussion point in literature because characters can be represented by pieces of art and their values can be represented by art. And art can also represent and be symbols for overarching ideas. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about what I think the meaning of art is. So I think that art is a way for an artist to kind of express their own emotions and to create a sort of like open dialogue um, surrounding a certain topic. And it's a way to open up this conversation without using your words. So whether that be through text or speech, art allows you to do this through, you know, clay or paper or paint, but a way that you can express your thoughts without having to really talk about it. Um, it enables an artist to have another mode of expression and have this open dialogue about, like I said, these topics that are difficult to open up about and talk about. So for me, that's what art is. Um, I think especially when I'm creating, you know, my own art, it's a way of expressing my inner feelings without having to actually talk about it. It's a form of release. So through my art, I'm able to express these feelings of maybe anger or happiness or sadness that I have within myself and just kind of let it out. Um, I think specifically for me, it's a great way to express any discomfort that I might have surrounding some sort of event or subject um, and stop holding that deep within myself because I think I often hold, you know, my anger pretty close to my my heart, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so by creating something, you know, through clay or through drawing or painting, I'm able to finally release that and kind of reason with that anger and understand it. Um, so I think the art starts as something that's mainly important to the artist and mainly has this meaning for the artist, but once it goes on display, it can have this meaning for the viewer as well. And it can allow this open dialogue between viewers and between the artist and the viewer as well. Um, and that's what I think art can do, and that's the purpose of art.